Hey team, it's day 84. I hope you're all doing well and still pushing forward as we get close, super close to day 90, wanting to cover the six goals today again, but in the same sense, got a question around what is better for building muscle and just overall uh, nutrition, whey or plant protein? And we'll get into that question in just a little bit, but first let's roll through the six goals. Uh, 214.6, uh, 1893 for the calories. I mean, just basically, you know the drill. Uh, hit, it's good when it's all blue. Uh, didn't get as much activity as I would have liked, but in the same sense, um, that 214.6, I'm gonna get to that 213, into that 213 range by the time we hit day 90, I promise you that. Uh, I mean, I no guarantee, well, yes, go, let's, let's guarantee that. I think I can get there. But, so which is better, whey or plant protein? And it's a really good question because when it comes to building muscle, really, when you look at the research and the studies out there, no difference as far as it relates to building muscle. Uh, but there is a difference between whey and plant protein that you should probably know. And the first and foremost is, uh, the first thing I would say the difference is, is one is based um, from animal, and the other is from plant. Obviously, we could say whey is the animal and plant is the plant. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, I guess I guess you kind of figured that out together. But uh, basically what the whey protein is, is there's a whey protein isolate and there's a whey protein. And basically it's the cow's milk that you drill down to into a powder uh, and the isolate, it just has less lactose in it. Just whey protein has uh, more lactose in it. So if you're lactose intolerant, plant is a better option. Uh, the thing people get uh, a little nervous about is, you know, they, they say, well, you need your complete protein. Yeah. And that just means that the amount of branch chain amino acids that each one of these has isn't always complete from a plant perspective. So uh, you can get it there. You can get those, but, um, you know, way normally is, you know, it's, it's a complete protein plant. Um, I would say sometimes. So you wanna make sure it's got at least three grams of, of leucine in it um, and all the branch chain amino acids that you need. Whey normally has that plant. Uh, it's gotta have soy in it. Then people get, you know, nervous about soy and potential estrogen properties. I'm not gonna go into that and the myths around the different proteins. The biggest thing as far as muscle building is concerned, they're equal. You don't have to worry about that. Complete protein, you gotta make sure, you know, whey normally is always there. And then the, even the whey isolate, if you're lactose intolerant, whey isolate has a lot less lactose in it, uh, but you gotta test that. But plant, you can get them in complete proteins. You just gotta search a little bit for. As far as price, oh gosh, this is, it's, they're uh, comparable. you can truly find, uh, for a while their plant seemed to be so much more expensive because it was kind of like the, the whole kick on, um, you know, don't do the milk because of the inflammatory properties and uh, watch out for X, Y, or Z and, you know, plant and, and going vegan and is, is you know, the, the way that everybody should be going. And then, you know, there was these two schools of thought with if you don't eat meat, you can't grow big from a lifting perspective. And then you found out that, well, plant is no real different. You just gotta make sure it's complete. So you can you can go back and forth of what you want, but the price is comparable. Used to be a lot different that way. You can just find way was cheap, but then if you're paying a cheap price for it, you're probably getting you know a cheaper protein. But one other thing you want from a protein, and we've talked about this before, is you wanna make sure that you're eating your food. or protein, right? As much as you can. You wanna eat your protein as much as you can. So these whey or plant supplements are just what they are, they're supplements. If you need something to, I guess, supplement when you're building muscle, or sometimes people use it uh, as kind of a filler during the day uh, if they want a snack, but they don't wanna to eat too many calories, uh, protein tends to be one that's, that's filling 
and uh, it's, it's a good nutritious choice, especially when you are uh, doing, you know, building muscle and things regardless. But I eat your protein as much as you can. I know I've told you this before, but if you said, hey, Richard, I got a protein shake here that, you know, has 400 calories and it's got, you know, 50 grams of protein and it's got, you know, a certain amount of fiber and carbohydrate and, and things and bam, you can do it. I'm like, you know what, in a, if I'm in a hurry and that's kind of one of my midday things or it's a pre or post uh, workout shake, I would say 100% great. But I would also say, you know, give me a couple chicken breasts, uh, some vegetables and some whole grain, you know, toast or anything with that with a little bit of butter to get the fat. Um, to me, that is more satious or, or provides more satiety for my body and in the end is more satisfying than drinking a shake. But when you're in a hurry and things, they're not bad to have. But let's talk about what we should look for inside of these protein shakes. So our, our protein or supplements. Uh, and I would say, I'll just leave it up here. So the main couple things you want to look for, and I'll put this in blue, is you want 20 to 30 grams of protein per serving. And I always say, get, get, the, get a good amount of protein, like enough bang for your buck, is what I always say, in your protein. So you probably want, inside of that, you probably want, you know, max of 150 calories total. Um, and that's just kind of a guide. Just don't, you don't have fillers. And fillers would be like artificial flavors and things that make protein taste good that, that you just, they're extra calories you don't need. So just make sure that we know protein has four calories per gram. If you're in 20 to 30, that's 80 to 120 calories with that. You know, if you get 150 calorie on that side, I would say uh, 120. Yeah, actually I'm gonna go 110. 110 to 150 calories is kind of your guide if you look at per serving. That'll just ensure that you're getting majority of that calories from that supplement you're getting from the actual protein, which is what you want because you should be using it if you can't get enough of the protein that you want in your diet a day. So I'm going to end it there and say I could go all day talking about proteins, which ones to buy, where to get them. But between whey and plant, if you want to know what helps build muscle more, there's not one. I would say mostly if you have an allergy to milk or you really don't want to uh, eat animal-based stuff, go with the plant. Just make sure you're getting a complete protein because there is a lot to do with uh, branching amino acids and just making sure that you have all the building blocks for your muscle. So that is that. If you have any more questions or any more questions like this, let me know. I can go into more detail if you want to in a subsequent video around the different proteins, but uh, I will, I do have the combat protein uh, link in the description of this video. Go ahead. That's just one of many you can use. I do not, I'm not sponsored by any protein uh, supplement company or anything. I just say, eat your food as much as you can. Eat as many of your calories as you can. And if you need to supplement the protein because of your specific goals, go ahead and do that in a supplement. If you need to supplement your greens, you know, with a, a shake because you're not getting enough uh, vegetables, or if you need to supplement your fiber like I do inside of my protein shakes, then do that. But supplements are just that they're to supplement or extra uh, because you can't get those other nutrition from what you eat in a day, whether it's if you're too busy uh, or you just really can't handle the taste of something that you want to eat that's really good. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a great day and continue to have that. But I appreciate your support. And as always, as always, I look forward to the next six days and, and talking to you tomorrow. So thanks again.